I am so sunburned right now. I am so sorry. <laughs> it looked like a tomato. Hi guys, it's Victoria and welcome to today's video. So this one is going to be all about how to rank high in search as a small YouTuber because that is so, so important and you all already know that. If you've watched any of my YouTube tips videos, then you know targeting search as a small YouTuber is so important because that is where you're going to be found and where you are going to grow. So I have a list on my phone. Um, of everything I want to say so if I'm looking at this that is why and if you want to see how I plan out my videos you can go check out this video right here so the first tip that I want to talk about is do your keyword research so this is really important I'm sure you've heard this from everybody but it's really really important to do your keyword research because that's I mean I'm gonna get a little more into it later but okay so for keyword research I recommend using TubeBuddy um you can type it in and search and see what it ranks you at um if you do like the keyword explore make your title long and specific a lot of people say don't have long titles blah 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 TubeBuddy actually recommends that you have a title between 20 and 70 characters and Katherine Manning actually says that she likes to go for 95 my camera's about to die, so let me go charge that, or change the battery. Okay, I am back. I hope the position didn't change too much. The more specific your title is, the more likely you will be found when somebody types in those keywords, because if you have, like, those specific keywords and somebody is typing it in, then it's easier to find you, because if you have multiple keywords in your title, then you're going to rank higher, and plus it helps YouTube know that these are my keywords, this is what I want to be ranked for, and YouTube will see that, and they will rank you. So, it's super duper important. And I want to just give a quick disclaimer. I'm going to be talking about keywords a lot in this video, because that is what I have found to be the biggest influence on my videos, and that is how you rank high in search. I'm just going to give you a whole bunch of different tips with keywords and stuff like that. So, kind of following what I just said, the more keywords that you have in your title, description, um, saying it in your video and your tags, the higher YouTube will rank you because they love to see all of those keywords and they love to know that you are a actual YouTuber and not just a robot. Okay, so this kind of goes hand in hand with the last thing I said, but repeat your keywords as many times as you can. So you will rank higher if your keywords are repeated. So if you have the same keyword in your title and your description and your tags and you say it in your video, that will help you rank higher. So I definitely recommend really going for that. This tip is about tags, and I have to give credit to Lexi Casey for this part. I will put her channel right here. She has a great channel. She makes YouTube tips as well, and I love her videos, and I definitely recommend checking them out. She's such a good YouTuber, and she's small, and we should definitely build up her channel. So if you are not subscribed to her, go do it, but do it after this video, please. Um, anyway, I want to share the tags that she shared in her video about like ranking higher in search and I just thought it was really helpful but make sure to go watch that video so that you can see other tips that I don't share but the first tag in your tag section needs to be your title word for word so like I always have a line in between like my title so I have the bulk part like the main thing the eye-catching thing and then a line in the rest of it but your first tag needs to be like the main part like the eye-catching part in front of like the line or whatever you do just the main keyword. You also want to tag your channel name because that will help you pop up on the suggested when somebody else is watching your videos or just pop up when somebody searches your name. Also, you want to tag your competitors because you can pop up in the suggested when somebody's watching their video or not necessarily like competitors like because you know we're all trying to grow together but like the other people that make videos like yours youtube will put you on the sidebar which is super important because when somebody is watching videos i know i do this when i'm watching somebody's videos i always go through the sidebar first to see if i want to watch any of the videos over there and if i can't then i'll go back to like my home or subscriptions or whatever but i always check there first if you use tubebuddy after your video is like uploaded i usually put it on private first so that i can like do everything and then I schedule it because I always schedule it at least one day before it's supposed to go up so I can make sure it's up and ready to go at 9 30 a.m. central time so but you can type in your targeted keyword and it will give you for the horrible lighting but apparently I was stupid and like didn't explain this I mean in the tags section like if you scroll down after you post your video you scroll down and then like where it gives you recommended tags, you can tell them the exact keyword you're going for. 
and it will give you tags to help that. I don't know why I... A bunch of different keywords by either relevance or by score, and it can help you rank. Also, after you've put in the keywords, sometimes there's a green little circle and it has a number in it and that tells you where you're ranking in search for that keyword or whatever. What I do is personally make my own tags first whenever I am actually uploading the video and then after I've made my own, I will go into the video details and use some of the ones that TubeBuddy gives me. Mostly, the ones that I use for those are mostly score based because I already do the relevant ones on my own, but I just want to see what ones will help me rank as well and I will use those. Also, be sure to use all 500 characters of your tag section. Do not leave anything out well, unless you have like 493 or like 496. I mean, I get there sometimes, but like get as close to 500 as you can because you want to have as many tags and as many keywords as you possibly can. The tags that you listed need to be repeated in your title and your description. So say my title is how to rank high in search. So my description is going to say something about how to rank high in search and then my tags are going to say how to rank high in search. So again, repeating your keywords over and over and over and over and over again. Now we're going to talk about adding keywords to your description. So I always fill my description with keywords. So like in the main section, I will put my keywords in there, but formulate them into sentences. So it like, it actually like really like me talking, but then at the bottom, I have a little keyword section where I type out a whole bunch of keywords, either some that are my tags or some extra ones that don't fit in my tags. Just I make sure that I can get as many keywords in there as I possibly can or that I can think of so that it will help me rank higher. Make sure to add cards and screens and captions because this will help YouTube know that you are a real YouTuber and not a robot like I said earlier. We really want to make sure that they are knowing that we're a real person so that they will push out our videos more. So be sure to add all of those things if you use TubeBuddy. It does have that stuff in the best practices section. Now, captions can be a little annoying to add, but if you have the time, I would definitely recommend doing it because it will really help your channel. And I mean, it's a little tedious, but not really if you think about what it's gonna do to help you. So cards in the end screen are really easy to add. They each have their own little section and the details portion of your YouTube video when you're in your YouTube studio. So I like to add cards whenever I am mentioning a video, like this one right here, the sun came out. But um, also if I'm not mentioning a video, but I don't have, I like to add four to five. Five is the limit, but I like to have at least like three or four. Um, but if I'm not mentioning a video and I've only mentioned like one or two, I'll still add some extra ones here and there just so that you guys can see some extra videos that you should 100% check out. The end screen is what pops up at the end of your video, so you can put a channel, extra videos. I have two channels, this channel and a vlog channel, which also doubles as a guinea pig channel as well. So I always put that in there and then I put a video and the one that I always have is best for viewers. So it recommends something that you guys would like to watch. So it's not like me picking it, YouTube picks it for you because they know the things that you guys watch and it will pick something that will relate to what you guys would like to watch. So you can keep watching my videos. Say your keywords in your video, guys. This is something that I feel like people forget about, which, I mean, we do say them in our videos, but you don't really like think about it. But YouTube does know all that you say in your videos because they add the captions for you if you don't add like actual ones. Um, so they know what you're saying. And if you use your keywords in your video, like if I say how to rank higher as a small YouTuber, then I'll just add another keyword. And that is part of what I was saying earlier when I said like repeat your keywords, say it in your video, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is part of that. Don't make it sound forced though. So don't randomly be like, 
how do I kind of search as a small YouTuber? <laughs> um, but like say it naturally, like you're actually talking. Don't just stuff keywords because then nobody really wants to watch it. Name the file of the video that you're going to be posting after like some kind of keyword. Like it doesn't have to be the actual title, but just like your main keyword that you are targeting so that YouTube knows it. Like don't leave it as just like my movie too because yeah, I didn't know that, but I recently found out that tip when I was doing some research and I think it actually is pretty helpful and I recommend at least just trying it because what's it going to hurt? But sometimes I do leave them as like my movie, like blah blah blah. Um, but I guess if you name it after your keyword, it will help you rank higher as well. Have good audience retention. You want to keep your viewers watching because the longer they watch, the more YouTube's going to see, oh this is a good video, people are actually watching it all the way through. I'm going to push it out some more. Add new things into your video, so if it's like just add things that you haven't added before so like sometimes i'll always put like the red subscribe up but maybe i want to do like a handwritten subscribe or something i don't know just add something new spice it up and be exciting you know you want to have enthusiasm be fun don't be like hi guys i'm victoria welcome to today's video this one we're going to be talking about how to rank higher and search as a small youtuber like be fun you want to make somebody want to watch your video you don't want to be like you know, give continuous tips so they don't want to leave. Or if you're not doing like a tips video, give continuous like action, excitement, something that people will want to watch so that they don't leave. Keep something always happening. Obviously this won't rank you higher immediately because you can't have high audience retention if nobody has watched the video yet. But eventually after people like do watch it, then you will rank higher so if you have like your friends watch it or something and they watch it all the way through then that will help you rank higher later on so i definitely recommend keeping things exciting like as you probably saw i moved around a little bit i actually took that tip from Catherine manning because that's what she does in her videos and it actually does keep you like watching and i don't really know why because it's not really that much of like a change but it does kind of keep you watching and i think it was a good tip and so i decided to try it out see if it works okay guys so that is it for this video don't forget that you can enter for a chance to win a shout out if you turn your post notifications on and comment down below that you have them on or if you post a picture of you watching my videos on your instagram story and tag me in it you can enter to win a shout out so yeah i do those in every video if i have people that are actually like participating if i don't then obviously i can't do any shout outs but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because i post videos every wednesday and sunday and you don't want to miss one so yeah guys i will see you in the next video